Hey guys, we're back with Jake Bowman, professional contractor, here asking more drywall questions. Jake, I get asked this all the time. What tools are necessary whenever you're sanding drywall? Well, you always want to have, in my opinion, a good pole sander. Uh, the reason why I like this one is because it has a hook and loop system. Mm -hmm. um, it's real easy to apply. You just slap uh, a sheet of sandpaper on there. It'll stay on there. It won't fall off. Uh, when this one gets wore down, you just put on another one and you're ready to go. Get back to work. It's very efficient. Excellent. The other uh, sanding tools that I like are the big block sander. This is for inside corners. It has an unfinished edge, so it doesn't mar uh, both sides of the wall when you're sanding. Yeah. Um, I also like this hand sander that has clamps that will hold the mesh or it'll actually hold paper as well. Um, it's nice to, to reach certain areas. Uh, it's it's just a more controlled grip versus uh, your sanding block, but you can't you can't do anything without a sanding yeah, block. Yeah, can't disregard those. And the nice thing about these sanding blocks are is that when you want to clean them, you run water into the edges, and then you're just going to squeeze them out, and then it's like you got a brand new sanding block. Uh, the next things, uh, the next one would be this little palm sander. Uh, it's got a hook and loop system. If you've got 50 sheets, you know, it's nice to have that you can just peel it off and put it back on. You can blaze through three walls like this in no time. Um, you can't forget uh, the tools of the trade. Uh, you got different blade sizes, four inch, six inch, eight inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, and a stainless steel trough. It's easy to uh, clean and it'll last a lifetime. And lastly, let's not forget safety. Safety uh, first. Safety first, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you got a respirator uh, mask, has a respirator on it that will keep your safety goggles from fogging up. These are the tools that I trust the most and it's going to be the most efficient uh, in, in sanding and applying compound on the wall. Thanks so much, Jake. So it's really not so much about the tool, but the tools that are necessary to get that job done complete.